there's been several occasions where it's just kind of like I breathe, I sit back, and sometimes even text my supervisor like, hey, you won't believe this interview that just happened and kind of getting out some of that initial shock of this is what that person's going through. Contact tracers play a vital role in stopping the spread of COVID. It's their job to talk with those positive for the virus and trace whoever they've been in close contact with. Now on this anniversary of the pandemic, those tracers have an opportunity to get some mental health treatment for themselves. CBS4's Courtney Crown introduces us to some who describe the emotional impact. Contact tracers help prevent the spread of COVID-19 through making phone calls to those who tested positive. Gaining the trust of others is like really what this is all about because if I don't have the trust, I can't, we can't stop the spread. Brooke Blakemore and Madison Eisenberg are two of 200 contact tracers with IUPUI's Fairbanks School of Public Health. Madison serves families whose children are six or under and tested positive. Not only just answering or having them answer the questions to complete our interviews with them, but also how do you provide empathy and provide support for them. Brooke often connects with our homeless neighbors. She explains the role of contact tracers goes beyond COVID-19. One thing that I like so much about this job is that when we ask about the resources, like are there any additional resources that you need, like their moms who, you know, are single. This year's challenge the teams, whether on the phone or at the front door. I think every contact tracer has experienced that at some point where somebody has said, well, why do you have my information? How did you get all of this? Why are you calling me? Recently, mental health professionals began hosting Zoom calls with contact tracers. Where they talk about taking care of yourself, walking away, you know, when needed, taking a break. Despite difficult days, they're proud to serve, especially the tracers who lost someone to the virus. They took this job specifically because they wanted to put their grief into action. So I think it's important to note that this has been kind of a healing job for some people as well. Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News. The Indiana State Department of Health says more than 900 contact tracers are at work both on the state and local level. As numbers of cases decline, those tracers are helping schedule vaccines.